Hello friends, hope you have been finding my videos useful. SPECT stands for Single Photon Emission Computed Tomography. A radioactive tracer like technician system may be is injected intravenously and nuclear scan images obtained using a gamma camera after 20 minutes. This will show the uptake of the tracer at various regions of the heart. After that, those who can walk on a treadmill will be connected with electrodes for monitoring ECG during the test. Treadmill slope and speed are typically increased every 3 minutes and maximal exercise without angina or ECG changes is achieved. The test is terminated earlier in case of significant angina, other major symptoms or ECG changes. The ECG printouts are analyzed by the supervising physician. At maximal exercise, one more injection of radioactive tracer is given. One more nuclear scan is done after waiting about 20 minutes with the gamma camera. The rust images are compared with the exercise images by the nuclear medicine physician. Those who are unable to exercise on the treadmill may be given diperidamol, adenosine or dobutamine infusion to stress the heart and nuclear stress images of the heart obtained as described above. Caffeinated drinks are avoided for 24 hours prior to the procedure. Any medications containing caffeine has also to be avoided. Asthmatics on theophylline preparations will have to withhold it for 48 hours. Nitrates are withheld on the day of the test. All these are followed strictly as per the advice of the individual treating physician as the exact medical condition may mandate some modifications. Important advantages of SPECT are that it has been extensively validated and has a good sensitivity compared to other methods of assessment of myocardial viability. Cost of SPECT is lower than positron emission tomography imaging and is more widely available than PET in most regions. SPECT can be used in the presence of cardiac implantable electronic devices while cardiac magnetic resonance imaging has important limitations in this setting. SPECT has a much higher cost compared to echocardiography and less availability compared to echo. Spatial resolution of SPECT is limited. There is a potential difficulty in interpreting SPECT results in patients with 3 vessel disease and balanced myocardial ischemia as the SPECT interpretation depends on comparing the counts between normal and abnormal regions. Compared to CMR and echocardiography, SPECT has some radiation risk though not very high. If all three major coronary branches have similar degree of stenosis, the radionuclide used for perfusion study will have equal uptake in all regions of the myocardium. Thus, a balanced three-vessel coronary artery disease can produce a false negative myocardial perfusion scan. This situation is called balanced myocardial ischemia. In most cases, this is picked up by the treadmill ECG usually done along with stress myocardial perfusion imaging. Since the ECG findings of myocardial ischemia does not depend on the relative perfusion in the coronary tree, ischemic changes will be noted in treadmill ECG even when nuclear perfusion study shows false negative due to balanced myocardial ischemia. In a case reported in heart, adenosine technetium system may be scanned showed no rust or stress induced perfusion defects in an elderly person with stable exertional chest pain. But ST segment depression was noted on the ECG. Coronary computed tomography angiogram showed severe calcified osteal left main lesion which was further confirmed by invasive coronary angiography. The patient underwent successful coronary artery bypass surgery. In another case report published in Heart International, there was triple vessel coronary artery disease including 95% distal left main stenosis 
with markedly positive stress ECG and a negative SPECT 99M Sustami B scintigraphy. This patient also underwent successful coronary artery bypass surgery. Other potential causes of a false negative nuclear perfusion study are lesions in the left circumflex coronary artery, use of anti-anginal agents prior to the test and low levels of exercise leading to low myocardial oxygen demand. Caffeine use can interfere with diapyramal stress nuclear perfusion imaging due to drug interaction. As a corollary, balancing of electrical vectors in opposite directions have been invoked to explain false negative exercise treadmill ECGs in patients with multivessel coronary artery disease. First set of journal references. Second set of journal references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.